Hey yo, what's good, you hypies? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any videos just like this one. And today, I am going to be teaching you guys how to wrap your sneakers. I know there's a bunch of tutorials on YouTube, but nobody does it like me. So I figured I might as well do this video and teach you guys on how to wrap your sneakers. And first things first, you're going to need three things. You're gonna need your shrink rag bags, then you're gonna need your heat gun, and you're also going to need a sneaker. And in this case, I am going to be using a Bread 350 V2. The reason is I don't really like this sneaker that much anymore, and I am going to be selling it. The reason you would wrap your sneakers is for three reasons. The main one is to preserve your sneakers, but the way I'm showing you guys today is not meant to preserve your sneaker. And by preserving your sneaker, I mean that you don't want it to turn yellow. So let's say you have a white sneaker and you have like a white midsole. Usually the white midsoles on Nikes, they yellow so easily and so bad. Another reason is for display reasons, which is what I'm doing it for today. Actually, I have two reasons, and one of them is the display reason and the third reason is also to protect your sneaker because I am going to be putting this in the barber shop I don't want hair flying around the barber shop to get on the sneaker or in the sneaker and then when I go to sell it it's just gonna have hair everywhere and it's just gonna be a disaster and it just does not look good on me or the sneakers so I might as well just wrap it up and make it look presentable so without further ado let's get into wrapping the sneaker so I got these bags off Amazon I most likely will link these in the description down below so you guys can't get them yourself all you need is one pair of sneaker. They think they come in like 24. So it pretty much equals 12 pairs, which if you're doing this to preserve your sneakers, you're gonna do all 12 pairs. But if you're only doing this to showcase your sneakers, let's say you have a sneaker store, then you only need one pair of sneaker and use the same side sneaker. So right now I'm using the right because that's what I have all my other sneakers wrapped up on, if that made any sense to you guys. So to preserve your sneaker, typically you have a bag like this. I know it's gonna be a little bit hard to see because it is transparent. You can see it is a rectangle bag, except but in this corner, it is cut off right here at an angle. And that is because that's where the top of the sneaker is gonna go. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this sneaker, insert it on the opening side, and it pretty much should slide through. It's not gonna be too difficult to put the sneaker through. However, the bag just does not stay open by itself. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it all the way in there. That's what she said, by the way. So we're gonna to stick it all the way in, and you're gonna have the angled part of the sneaker, which is obviously the top of the sneaker. On the angled side, which I showed you guys earlier, it's not the regular straight part, it is angled. And you're gonna put the tip of the sneaker all the way to that point and then just kind of just squeeze it in there. And what you would do from here is pull down the bottom of the bag. While you still have your hand in there, you're gonna pull back right here and you're gonna flatten this out as much as possible. And don't worry if there's gonna be a lot of excess. I know it looks weird right now, but in the end, it's all gonna shrink up and look nice and neat. So typically it would look like that. That when you shrink it up, you can't just push it together when it's hot and it'll wrinkle up and it'll just be flat with the bottom. And only what you would do here is that you would fold it over and put some tape right there. Or you can just like kind of like make it nice and neat, fold this part down, fold this part there, and then fold these two parts over and put a piece of tape there. And that's the best way to do it to preserve your sneaker. However, I'm not doing it to preserve my sneaker. I'm doing it so hair doesn't get in the sneaker. So the way I'm gonna do it is actually instead of having the sneaker upward like that, I'm going to flip it upside down so the bottom of the sneaker is actually aligned with that angle part of the bag that I was telling you guys about earlier. We're gonna go ahead and turn it around. All you gotta do is do in the bag, I think. It's gonna be too difficult. I know it's probably hard to hear me while I'm moving the bag and talking. So instead, we're gonna have to put the tip of the shoe all the way to that corner. Obviously not the one with the flat side, but it's gonna be the corner opposite of it. Well, it's really the only corner in the bag. So the way I do it, if you wanna do it just for looks and not use tape, if you don't have tape or you just are too lazy to do it, you put it all the way to the corner there, you pull the bag back, you put as much around the upper of the sneaker and leave the least amount on the bottom of the sneaker. Because think about it, you don't want it all to crunch up here because when the sneaker sits, if it has a lot crunched up there, it's gonna sit awkwardly and it might not even lay flat. So we're gonna go ahead and put it to the corner of the bag. And with all this excess, this is what I like about the way I do it, is that you pretty much just push it, you pull it all back just like this. And all this excess paper, you just tuck it into the sneaker right here, just like that. And you do gotta manipulate it a little bit so it doesn't make the sneaker look awkward while it's in there. And think about it, when it shrinks, it's gonna pull the sneaker in, so you don't want it to look too weird. And make sure the sneaker has a good form, because if it doesn't, it's gonna look really weird. And you don't want it to look weird when it's displayed. Hold on, I'm recording real quick. Hello? You up? Wait, wait, hey, that was, that was up? Dude, this camera made me look fucking shredded. <laughs> oh, we got titties. <laughs> All right, bro, get out of here, bro. let me finish, let me finish. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, guys. But anyways, when the sneaker's all wrapped up, it should look just like this. The sneaker should still hold its shape. All that excess should be inside there. So next thing we gotta do is get the heat gun and apply it on the shrink wrap. As you do it, it is going to shrink to the sneaker itself. But before you start, make sure that you have the setting on low because if it is on high, it's going to burn through the bag and you're gonna have holes and it's just gonna be a waste of a bag. I don't think you can use a hair dryer because I don't think it gets hot enough. It might get hot enough. Let's actually, let's try a hair dryer first and see if that works. 
So here I have a hair dryer, just in case you guys might not have a heat gun, I'm gonna try it out and see if it actually works. And if it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to go to the heat gun. So I'm actually gonna put the hair dryer on high because that is hot and let's see, hopefully it actually does make it shrink wrap. And if it doesn't, like I said, I gotta go over to the heat gun. And the way you wanna do this is as you see it shrinking, you don't wanna stay in one spot. You constantly wanna move slowly and around. Obviously with this, it might take a little longer, but with the heat gun, once you start seeing it shrink, you wanna move quickly. It's supposed to have that like really shiny look and be nicely wrapped to the sneaker. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. So as you can see, it did shrink wrap it a little bit. As you can see, it's flat, and this was able to crunch up. However, there's still too much slack, and it doesn't work too good. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can finish the whole job with just a hair dryer, but a heat gun is preferred. It'll make the job faster, and it'll make it hotter. It'll melt it easier, and it'll just look a lot cleaner. I guess this is a safer way to do it, but with the heat gun, I mean, if you put it on low, there really is no way to mess up. Like once you see it starting to shrink up, you want to kind of move away from the area because if you're not, you're gonna make a hole in it. You guys are gonna see the difference of how fast it shrinks with this now. And on top of that, it's gonna be on low heat. And it's not as loud either. It helps me talk to the video. So let's go ahead and start over here. Let's see, it's getting hot. It's getting kind of hot. So now we're gonna start with the tip. As you can, like, it literally shrivels up because it's that hot. And we kind of just wanna move back and forth. Always have movement on it because if you don't, you're gonna make a hole in it. And you guys can see it move by itself, which is the cool thing about this shrink wrap. You really don't have to like touch it or anything. And you see that little, and you saw that spot that was crunched up? It actually, diminished by itself and now perfectly flush and it's not a problem at all. We get to the tip here, which is where there's a lot of paper. We just kind of touch it there and then we push it. I, I usually just push it against my chest because I don't have a hand and I don't want to touch it because it's hot and it flattens it right to the sneakers. You guys can see right there, it is nice and flush. And once I do the bottom, I kind of go to the back and then I go around on the sides. So I'll show you guys exactly how I do that. Actually, let me do this part real quick. I'm actually gonna push this down with my finger. So now it's perfectly flush. So now when you sit the sneaker down, it's gonna sit nice and flat. Okay, so right here we have a problem. You can see the sneaker's actually trying to open up because the shrinker I want to pull it in. So all we're gonna do is Move the tongue back a little bit. We still have a little excess, so that'll work. And then the shrink wrap is just gonna shrink that part itself again, and it'll be perfectly fine. And to finish it off, usually what I do, kinda just go over one pass all around, make sure everything looks nice, shiny, and smooth. And I go to the inside to make sure everything gets pulled in, nice and tucked. And that is how you wrap a sneaker. You can probably mess with that a little more and get it to look perfectly. But this is, I'm fine with this. This is only going to the barber shop so hair doesn't get on it. And that's how you wrap your sneakers, guys. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. And also, like I said, don't forget to subscribe because our goal is to reach 32,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Today's fan of the day does go to Super Sniper Pug. It's not Pug, but Super Sniper Pug. Big shout out to you, bro. If you want to be a fan of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel and leave a positive comment down below. Anyways, guys, until next time, make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy, Sneaker signing out.